Hey, my friend, it's Doug. Welcome back to our UI collection view course in iOS with Swift. So in this course, we are going to build this amazing photos browser app that will have a group of photos. When we scroll up, we'll have different sections of photo and then we can insert new photos with beautiful animation to the grid, something like this. We click into this and the photos just appears. And then when we click the edit button, you see that there will be some delete button pops up like this. And when we, I click that, it will delete the photo and the animation, the cells, it will move up very nicely animated. So that is what we are going to create in this course. In this lesson, let's talk about how to design this UI, this collection view inside your storyboard. Now, this is going to be real, really simple, but you need this step in order to move on to the next one. So let's get ahead into the demo. If you haven't downloaded the starter project, please do it now because you are going to need this. Let's go into demo. All right, my friend, let's open up your Xcode project for this project. And in this lesson, let's design our collection view in storyboard now for some of you who wants to do it in code you're welcome to do so in the next lesson when we create our photo subclassing ui collection view cell you can do that in your collection view cell all right so here is how we are going to do this let's uh let's first organize our code a little bit number one i don't need this uh view controller dot script so let's move that to trash. Let's make the launch screen info the P list and even the app delegate in new group from selections. And then I'm going to put this as supporting files. You see this? It will be there. And then let's have the photo here to be a new group called model like this. And I want to model above here. And then let's have, have a new group like this called controllers. And another group called views, model view controllers. So model views controller, model views controllers. That's, and then move the main storyboard over the views like this. So we have models views controller, right? I hope that you still remember how to do model views controller. Let's head over our main storyboard like this. And then we have the starting view controller, which is nasty. We don't need that. So let's delete that guy. And then I want to have over our object palette, drag out a collection view controller over here. Drag this thing out to the screen. And you notice that we have this navigation bar like this. So let's embed this guy, editor, embed this in a navigation controller. And make this navigation controller to be your initial view controller, like this. Initial view controller, that's pretty good. And then I'm want, uh, I want to change our type navigation bar like this. Select the navigation bar, head over our, what is that? Uh, attribute inspector. And then, yeah, let's use translucent, but let's have a different bar tint over here. I, uh, oh, I don't have that because it's a new laptop. So, okay, let me find out what's the color of this color meter. I don't have the color here, obviously. So this is 89 red, so you, see, uh, you see this thing? Red, green, and blue. By the way, the app I'm using is built in the iOS. It's called Color Meter. You just have to use this, Digital Color, me color Meter. And then you make the display native values. And then we have the red, green, and blue. I hope it's going to not be exactly like that. So move it over here. So let's see over here. We have 89, 206, 134, and here. Yeah, so 89, 206, 134. Over here, 89, 206, 134. And it's pretty close, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it here because maybe we need that. And then we, we change our tint color into white color so that our label title will have the white okay and then the title title color the title color change that into white color too so over our navigation item 
click into the navigation item, change the title of the navigation item into photos, like this. You see that? Oh, it's still white, uh, black. And then we change the navigation bar back. Oh, let's change that into black. So ha, this whole thing is white. And then you know what? Let's change the title font it's just for fun. So let's change this thing into custom font, system, and then custom. And then we have Avenir next, right? And then let's make that bold. So 18, cool. All right, now it's time to design our collection view. You see this collection view right here? Now a collection view is just like a table view. If you, I, I already assume that you already know about table view, right? So the table view it has a table view and then table view controller. Collection view the same has a collection view controller. The root view of the collection view controller is collection view. And then inside each collection view, it has prototype cells. The subclass of that is UI collection view cell. Now, the all, and then it, later on in the next lesson, when we implement this, we have to implement UI uh, collection view data source and UI collection view delegate. Now, the only difference between collection view and data, uh, tail view is that it has this special object right here collection view flow layout it is of type ui collection view layout and this object it is going to determine whether or you can customize that we'll talk about that how to lay out your object here we lay out a grid three rows and a bunch of rows you can do it fancy wise like apple musics they have a bunch of bubbles floating around and sticks to the center we can have things like uh, the news app, the, um, the those examples that I show you, right? Or you can do it like the uh, the app store that using tail view and collection view. So now let's use this collection view. Drag that thing to the screen like this, and I'm going to make this 200 by 200. So select the collection view, and then the cell size here. Change that 200 by 200. Don't worry about all of those things. We will talk about that when we use that. And most of that, we will do it in code. And now, for this collection view cells, I only want to have one image. You see this? So let's have UI image. Oops, image. Drag out this image view to the screen. And then use auto layout immediately. So auto layout, uncheck the constraint to margin, zero, 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 zero. And then we add the four constraint. All right, now we're going to change, just use a sample image, F1, scale, aspect fill, like that, so that the image looks nicely, and boom, that is, it's just that simple. We have designed our collection view cells, and our collection view. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. We are going to do the next one, which is, create the photo cell for this collection view that we just designed in the story bar. Now before we move on to the next one, I want to give you kind of like a overview, an overview of collection view. Here it is, a collection view consists of, or a collection view controller, which is the thing that we are going to use. A collection view controller is a controller. Its root view is a UI collection view. And the collection view is very much like a UI table view that you are using. I assume that you know that a UI collection view also has a data source protocol that you have to implement so that you give it some pieces of information. Number one, how many sections are there inside the collection view? Number two, how many rows or how many items, which is like each of these cells in each of the section? And number three, how many, uh, I'm sorry, how does a cell look like? How does an item look like? That is what it calls a cell row, an item. So that is three things in the data source that you have to implement. And then it has the delegate. The delegate is uh, the object that is going to tell you that things like uh, what if the user tap on a cell, what if the user hold on the cell and then drag it around. Those kind of information you have with the delegate. And then the secret with collection view is that it has another object. And this object is what we call a um, 
UI collection view layout. The layout uh, object of collection view. The layout object, as the name tells, it will dominate. It will uh, it will determine how the collection view looks like. So that is the only difference between the collection view and the tail view. It has a separate object that is going to give you the ability to configure its layout. So you can literally do a grid of photos like this, or you can do carousel, carousel uh, uh, effects like the App Store, or you can do a lot of other things, or even like the fancy bubbles that you can move around, that sticks together, that floating around like in the uh, Apple Music app. So those are what Collection View is capable of. So in the next lesson, let's talk about how we can subclass this cell, which is UI Collection View cell, and then we create what we call a photo cell. I see you in the next training. We'll talk about the photo cell.